Hi everyone, let's go ahead and try to understand what a depth wise separable convolution and why it is used in artificial neural network. Depth wise convolutional neural network was introduced in mobile nets efficient convolutional neural network for mobile vision application research paper. This research paper revolutionized artificial neural network in mobile applications. Mobile have a constraint like uh, uh, energy constraints and computation power constraint. But by using depth wise separable convolution, mobile net was able to get almost similar accuracy or more accuracy than uh, uh, other uh, comparable network with a lot lesser parameters. So if parameters are less, that means it is going to take less memory as well as less computation. That means on lower on lower lower side of a, a processor, these kind of convolution can be performed easily. Let's see how this works in real practice. Suppose that you are given with uh, input and your input dimension, what you see here, uh, this particular thing here, a single channel if I say. So for this single channel dimension, I'm saying hypothetically assume if it is a uh, square, then I say it is df cross df. That means here is height. And this one is width here. So df cross df and their total number of channels which you see that I say m number of channel. So you have here a input image which have a size of df cross df with the m number of channel. And then you have here a filter, a traditional filter. So this traditional filter I assume a size of filter is k by k that's the convolutional filter and let's assume here the total number of filters which you have here this total number of filters I also assume here as m all right although the channel is there m uh, probably it would be better if I write here the total number of filter here as n so in traditional convolution what happened here on your given input let's say you have these input here all right so this as df df and here you have height of uh, width as m there then you apply here a convolution of k by k there this k by k and n number of convolution you apply then at the output you get here something like this uh, volume where you have the depth of channel as n and uh, then height and width are something like df into df cross df in case of padding used as the same padding. So in this case, what happened here, you have df cross df with m channel, this get converted to df cross df with n channel. This is a standard convolution. But this thing doesn't happen with depth wise separable convolution. In depth wise separable convolution, what happened here, all these single single channel which you are seeing here, all the channels are considered here as a standalone channel. So this particular channel is a single channel. Then this second channel is also considered as a single channel. Then here this one is considered and then this one is considered and then this one. All these are considered here a single channel. Then these filter which you see here, these are applied here across these channels on this single single channel. In traditional convolution what happened, these filter which you see, these filters are applied on this whole channel. But in depth wise separable convolution, these filters are applied only on single single channel. So how do you see the difference here? You have n filters, then n filters in standard convolutions are applied on all channel at the time. 
but in but but in depth wise separable convolution these filter which you see here these number of filters these filters are applied on single single channel so in depth wise convolution this n automatically becomes equal to m in case of the depth wise why so because the total number of channel present here is m here so this n which you see that will automatically become m because we can apply these on only single single channel then you get these feature map for each channel and for each filters so what you see there these m m filters these are applied on these m channels separately and then you concat these in depth wise separable so these are kind of concatenation is happening here all right in standard in standard this one is uh, standard convolution so in standard convolution what happen here in standard convolution you do there a summation of these filters and multiplied by you know uh, uh, these df these uh, filters which you apply on df then uh, you sum those uh, you know the values in standard convolution and then you apply these number of filters there which n start with 1 to capital n where n is number of filters but here in depth wise that is not happening in that way so how this is going to help us to improve our training and how it is going to help us to run our depth wise separable convolution on mobile devices it is it actually saves the number of parameters how does this save that let's calculate the number of par number of parameters in standard convolution so in standard convolution the number of parameters you see if you apply here k by k filters on input which have a df and m channel so what do you see there the k by k filters and the m channels are there and plus one bias will be there so if you add all these together so for this particular thing you will see there you have total k by k filter and the depth of these filter depends on the number of channel which is m here then it become here m all right thereafter there is one bias term which is almost negligible so i'm just gonna drop this particular thing there just to make our calculation simpler thereafter you have there n number of filters then you multiply it with n there so this is the total number of parameters here in a standard convolution but what happened in depth wise separable convolution how many parameters you have here so you see how many parameter you get uh, you you need to do this one first you need to understand here so to do this one you have here a k by k filter and the total number of filters are equal to m here because that the m number of channels you have previously so how many you need here you need here the k by k you need to get the k by k that's the total number of parameters for one channel you need here and how many channels are there the total number of channels are here m channel so you need here k into k into m so this is total number of parameters to calculate this thing but what you see the difference here in a standard convolution you are getting output something like this in a volume form but here you are getting output something like this although this is also in volume form but the inter channel information we are not getting here we are getting here a spatial information that's mean the channel wise information is stacked together here into a multiple channels but the information which which depends on inter channel so the inter channel dependency is not calculated yet so to calculate that inter channel dependency then you need to apply here a one cross one convolutional filter here so this filter you need to apply on this particular thing there all right so one cross one convolution you need to apply 
as the depth of this is already m so the depth of your convolution will be already m there all right and how many filters you want for this one you want the total number of filters in this case so that you can make this dimension you need total n number of filters so a beauty of one cross one convolution is this can expand number of channels or this can squeeze the number of channels there so you move forward what happened here you apply this one by one convolution what you see here with the m m depth there you apply these on these here and how many times you apply this you apply this n times so that you can you can make sure that its depth is equal to n there so if you apply this one by one chan one by one convolution n time with depth m you will get the same output what you get here so after applying all these the output which you are going to get here the output is going to be the exactly same what we see there it's going to be here df cross df and the depth will be here n there so the how many parameters now you need to calculate for one cross one convolution the one cross one convolution here you see this need here one cross one parameters and multiplied by m that's the m there all right because we did earlier that the k by k into m in one by one we need to do here one cross one into m there so in this case what happens this this becomes exactly one uh, this exactly becomes actually m there so you see the total number of parameters now we have here this one and we have the total number of parameters this one so these are the two type of the parameters which we have here but along with this what other things we have here along with this we 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 need to apply here you know the n number of you know n number of filters so you need to also multiply here those n as well so you multiply that n as well that means you need to also multiply that here as well so it becomes here m into n all right now you 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 uh, take this one and this one all these together all right so how much parameters you are getting here you are getting k square into m plus m into n this one you are getting in depth wise separable convolution and in standard convolution you are getting here k into k into m into n so these many parameters you are getting in standard convolution so if you put here some numbers let's say k is 3 then you k is uh, hypothetically just assume that we put here uh, some number where i say k equal to 3 number of channels here i say as uh, let's say uh, uh, 16 or perhaps let's say this this i say as m where m is this one and then n number of channels that's the number of filters i say here uh, 32 if you compare all these you will see there the k square is 9 m is 32 plus m is 32 sorry m is 16 and n is 32 so i'm just going to do it something like this and here you if you multiply all these together you get 9 multiplied by 32 and multiplied by 16 so the obviously you can see this one is a lot greater than what number you get here all right so the number wise if you compare this 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 number let me just quickly the uh, le let me just quickly do this math for you so the 9 into uh, 32 this number actually becomes here you see uh, this number becomes let me just write it here so this number what you see here this 9 into 32 becomes 288 and then this particular things become here 512 and then if you see all these together if you multiply all these uh, together you get here a uh, 4608 all right so 
and here you have a 288 you add here 12 it becomes there so it basically becomes here almost 800 and here you get almost the 46,000 uh, 4600 so the 800 versus 4800 number of parameters so this is a huge improvement if you use a depth wise separable convolution so this depth wise separable convolution was used greatly in mobile net so this was a mobile net network a research paper was published and this, this research paper used depth wise separable convolution to reduce the number of parameters there reduce the number of parameters in artificial neural network all right this is all about in this lesson i'll see you next one